Thank you for joining our Medicare 101 class, presented by the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, or SHIP for short. This program is presented by the Denver Regional Council of Governments SHIP, which serves Arapahoe, Douglas, and Jefferson Counties in Colorado. If you are outside of this area, some information may be different in your state. Medicare plan options can vary by county. Reach out to your local SHIP office for help understanding the Medicare options in your area. Use the website www.shipteer.org. G, that's www.shiptacenter.org to find contact information for your state's SHIP. Today we will cover Medicare topics such as how and when to enroll in Medicare, Medicare Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D, services covered by Medicare, and plan options for people with Medicare. We will also discuss important terms to know, how to find help with Medicare costs, enrollment dates, and how to protect your Medicare benefits. Medicare is health insurance provided by the federal government, known as Original Medicare. Original Medicare is administered by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, sometimes called CMS for short. When you first enroll in Medicare, you will receive a red, white, and blue paper card in the mail. The card will list your Medicare ID, as well as your Part A and Part B effective dates. Most people become eligible for Medicare when they turn 65. However, certain situations may make you eligible sooner. People who have been receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, also known as SSDI, will become eligible for Medicare after two years. People who have a diagnosis of end-stage renal disease or Lou Gehrig's disease, often called ALS, will become eligible sooner. For most people, their initial enrollment period coincides with their 65th birthday. You will need to enroll into Medicare during the three months before your birthday month, the month of your birthday, or the three months after. To ensure their coverage starts as early as possible, most people choose to enroll in Medicare three months prior to their birthday month. You can see from the chart that when you enroll into Medicare during your initial enrollment period, your coverage will start on the first day of the month you turn 65. If you enroll after your birthday, your coverage will start the first day of the month following enrollment. This chart applies to most people who enroll in Medicare, but there are some exceptions. Some people will be automatically enrolled into Medicare and will receive their red, white, and blue Medicare card in the mail as notification. You will be automatically enrolled if you've been receiving Social Security retirement benefits for four months or disability benefits for two years. People receiving Railroad Retirement Board benefits will also be automatically enrolled. Now let's learn the ABCs of Medicare. Part A, also known as hospital insurance, covers your inpatient hospital coverage. We'll talk more about how to know whether you are an inpatient or outpatient later. Part B is medical insurance and covers your outpatient medical services, such as doctors and specialists. It also includes your outpatient hospital coverage for emergency room visits and even some surgeries. 
We're going to skip over Part C and come back to that in a moment. Part D is your prescription drug coverage for medications which you receive through the pharmacy. Part D plans are only offered by private insurance companies. Now let's go back to Part C, which is referred to as a Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare Advantage plans bundle coverage and include your Part A, Part B, and usually Part D. A Medicare Advantage plan will always be through a private insurance company, which will manage your hospital, medical, and drug coverage. Let's take a closer look at these plan options. Part A pays for a portion of your inpatient hospital care, skilled nursing facility care, blood you get as a hospital inpatient, home health care services, and hospice care. Skilled nursing facility care is the rehabilitation care you receive after an inpatient hospital stay. It is not long-term care. There are limits to how long someone can receive skilled nursing facility care through Medicare. Similarly, home health care services are only provided part-time or intermittently. They are not provided long-term. Medicare doesn't cover home health care services unless you're also getting skilled care. Skilled care includes skilled nursing care, physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. Part B helps to cover doctor services, medically necessary outpatient medical services, medically necessary surgical services and supplies, clinical lab tests, durable medical equipment, such as walkers and scooters, diabetic testing supplies, and preventive services. With Medicare Part B, you will pay nothing for certain preventive services. It is important to be aware that during your visit, your doctor may order additional non-preventive tests or services that would require you to pay the Part B deductible or copayment. When you schedule your appointment, be sure to ask for either your Welcome to Medicare visit or your annual wellness visit so that you are billed for a preventive visit. Here are other preventive services covered by Medicare Part B. Part A is premium free for those who have worked and paid payroll taxes for 10 years. You may also qualify for premium free Part A based on your spouse's or past spouse's work history. If you are unsure whether you will receive premium free Part A, call the Social Security Administration at 1-800-772-1213 to determine your eligibility. If you do not qualify for premium free Part A, you will have to pay a Part A monthly premium. The Part A deductible is $1,600 for each benefit period. The benefit period begins the day you're admitted as an inpatient to a hospital or skilled nursing facility. It ends when you haven't received any inpatient hospital care or skilled care in a skilled nursing facility for 60 days in a row. Copays for each benefit period will vary based on the number of days you are in the hospital or skilled nursing facility. Part B has a standard monthly premium of $164.90 and an annual deductible of $226. You will need to meet the deductible before you begin paying your coinsurance. Medicare Part B generally pays for 80% of covered services. You would pay a 20% coinsurance out of pocket.
Part D drug insurance is provided through private insurance company plans. Part D plans cover your outpatient prescription drugs from your pharmacy. It is important to review plan details to ensure the prescriptions you take are on the formulary and will be covered by the plan. If they are not on the formulary, you will be responsible for the full cost of the drug. SHIP counselors can help you evaluate formularies and complete plan comparisons with you to help you find the most affordable plan for your situation. Part D plans have a monthly premium, annual deductible in most cases, and co-payments or co-insurances that could vary greatly depending on the plan you choose. You can review the plan options in your area with a SHIP counselor for help understanding the costs and options available to you. People who reach the coverage gap or donut hole in 2023 pay 25% of covered brand name drugs and 25% of covered generic drugs. Effective in 2023, the Inflation Reduction Act involved changes related to insulin and vaccines. If you have Medicare and take insulin, you will pay no more than $35 for a one-month supply of each type of insulin you take. For Medicare drug plans, this change is effective January 1, 2023. For Medicare Part B plans, the change is effective July 1, 2023. You won't have to pay a deductible for covered insulin. If you have Medicare and take insulin, a SHIP counselor can help you compare plans. Also, there is no copay or coinsurance for Part D vaccines. Medicare Advantage plans bundle Part A hospital, Part B medical, and usually Part D drug coverage through a single private insurance company. If you're familiar with an employer plan, a Medicare Advantage plan might seem similar. Medicare Advantage plans are most often a health maintenance organization, HMO for short, or a preferred provider organization, PPO for short. HMO plans require that you see providers listed in their network. A PPO plan allows you to see preferred doctors in or out of its network. Some plans offer incentives, such as limited dental, vision and hearing benefits, most often for preventive services. Some plans may also offer silver sneakers, a fitness membership. If you join a Medicare Advantage plan, you will still pay the $164.90 Part B premium for Medicare. In some cases, Medicare Advantage plans have no additional premium. Other plans may have an additional monthly premium. Each plan will have its own set deductibles and copays or coinsurances for services. It is very important to review plans closely to ensure you understand the costs. Even more importantly, you will want to ensure your doctor is in network with the plan. SHIP counselors can help you review your Medicare Advantage plan options and help you understand the costs and coverage for each plan. One plan option we haven't talked about yet is the Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan, also called Medigap. To join this plan, you must have Original Medicare, which is Part A and Part B through the federal government. You cannot sign up for a Medigap plan if you have a Medicare Advantage plan. There are more than a dozen Medigap plan options, ranging from letters A through N. The amount of coverage varies based on the letter plan. Depending on the Medigap plan you choose, you may have all or most of your Part A and Part B deductibles, copays, and coinsurance covered by the Medigap plan. Contact your local SHIP for more information about Medigap policies and the companies that offer them. 
Now that you've had an introduction to Medicare's various parts, choosing coverage comes down to a decision between two options. The first option is to have original Medicare, Part A and Part B, with a Part D prescription drug plan. With this option, you can choose to add a Medicare supplement insurance plan called Medigap. The second option is to choose to have a Medicare Advantage plan that will bundle Part A, Part B, and usually Part D. This may be the hardest decision you need to make when choosing your coverage. You'll want to consider many factors such as what plan does your doctor accept? How is your health now? How do you see your health in the future? What monthly premiums do you feel you can afford? Do you travel often? What plans are available where you live? You will likely have other questions too. SHIP counselors can help you with your questions so that you can make the best decision for your situation. To make things a little more complicated, you may also have coverage options through a retirement plan, Veterans Affairs, TRICARE, or other insurance plans. A SHIP counselor can help you understand how those benefits would coordinate with Medicare. Now that we've covered your options, we can review some important Medicare terms. Original Medicare refers to the approved amount as assignment. If you have Original Medicare, it is important to ask your provider if they accept assignment as full payment. If your provider does not accept assignment, but still accepts Medicare, they may charge up to an additional 15% coinsurance. Combined with the Original Medicare coinsurance of 20%, you may pay up to a 35% coinsurance. If you are ever in the hospital, it is important to know whether you're an inpatient or an outpatient. Your status might change from one day to the next. Every day you're in the hospital, be sure to ask whether you are considered inpatient or outpatient. Your status determines whether Part A, inpatient hospital, or Part B, outpatient medical, deductibles, copays, or coinsurances apply for that day's hospital stay. The Advanced Beneficiary Notice of Non-Coverage is referred to as an ABN form. You may receive this form if you have Original Medicare and your provider thinks Medicare won't pay for the items or services you are going to receive. Your provider gives you an ABN form so you know you may be personally responsible for the full cost of the item or service. But keep in mind that if Medicare denies payment, you have the right to appeal. You may have heard the term medically necessary it describes the criteria Medicare uses in determining whether it will cover a service. To be covered, your doctor must assert that a Medicare covered item or service is medically necessary for your treatment. Another key term is creditable coverage. Creditable coverage refers to health insurance that is comparable to or exceeds what Medicare offers. Some people choose to keep an employer plan instead of enrolling in Medicare. If you choose not to enroll in Medicare, you will want to ensure you have creditable coverage to avoid penalties later. There are programs that help people with costs related to Medicare. Low income subsidy, known as extra help, assists with costs for Medicare prescription drugs. A SHIP counselor can help you find out if you may qualify for this program and help you apply. People who receive Medicaid, a Medicare savings program, or supplemental security income benefits will automatically qualify for this program. If you're eligible, you will need to reapply each year. 
the Medicare Savings Program, or MSP for short, can help you with your Part A or Part B premiums, copayments, and coinsurance. MSP has various levels of assistance depending on your income. SHIP counselors can help you find out if you qualify and help you apply. Some people may qualify for both Medicare and Medicaid. In this case, most of your health care costs will be covered because Medicare will pay first and Medicaid will assist with the remaining costs. You'll have to cover a small copay out of pocket. If you have Medicaid and are becoming eligible for Medicare, it's important to talk with a SHIP counselor to coordinate your benefits. Now, an important date refresher. Your initial enrollment period is the three months before your birthday, the month of your birthday, and the three months after. For people receiving SSDI, automatic enrollment will begin on the 24th month of your SSDI benefit. If you miss your initial enrollment period and you didn't have other creditable coverage, you will have to apply during the general enrollment period. You can sign up between January 1st and March 31st of each year. However, your coverage won't begin until the first of the next month. A penalty will usually apply and you risk having gaps in healthcare coverage. There is a special enrollment period for people who have had creditable coverage and now want to enroll in Medicare. You have eight months from losing your creditable coverage to enroll into Medicare through Social Security. You must provide proof of your creditable coverage. COBRA is not considered creditable coverage for Part A and Part B. Once you are enrolled in Medicare, you may have a special enrollment period to change your Medicare Advantage or prescription drug plan. Some events that may make you eligible for a special enrollment period may include moving, plan non-renewal, and if you have extra help, a Medicare Savings Program or Medicaid. SHIP counselors can help you determine whether you meet qualifications for any special enrollment periods. The open enrollment period is when people choose to add, drop, or change their original Medicare, Medicare Advantage, and Part D drug plans. You can make changes from October 15th through December 7th each year. Your old plan will end on December 31st, and your new plan will begin on January 1st. You will not face any penalties for making changes during open enrollment. You are encouraged to review your plans each year to make sure you are still happy with the cost of your premiums, deductibles, and copays. Check that your existing plan will still cover your prescriptions and the doctors in network. Plans change from year to year, and while they may still have the same name, the coverage could be different. Be sure to review your annual notice of changes every fall so you don't have any surprises in the new year. The Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment Period gives people with Medicare Advantage plans an extra chance to make changes. You must have an existing Medicare Advantage plan to make changes. If you are in original Medicare, you do not qualify for this period. You can only make one change during this period. For example, if you joined a Medicare Advantage plan during the fall open enrollment period, but found out in February it does not cover your doctor in network, you can change your plan during this period. Medigap, also known as supplement insurance plans, pay after original Medicare, so they're considered a secondary insurer. For this reason, 
They are able to review your pre-existing conditions to determine whether they want to sell you a Medigap plan. During your Medigap guaranteed issue right, which is six months from the time your Part B began, you have the right to buy a Medigap plan. During this time, you cannot be denied a plan. Outside of this window, a plan has the right to deny you or increase the premiums if they insure you. A SHIP counselor can help you understand your options and navigate Medigap plans and guaranteed issue rights. Protect your Medicare number like you would a credit card. Only share your Medicare information with trusted sources, such as your providers and doctors. Beware of scams that try to get your Medicare number to bill you or Medicare for services that you did not receive or did not need. Review your Medicare summary notice or explanation of benefits every month to make sure they're correctly billing you and Medicare for services. If you find any errors or suspicious information in your Medicare summary notice, contact your local SHIP. If you have enjoyed this presentation and think you may want to learn more about Medicare and volunteering with SHIP, you can call your Colorado SHIP program at 1-888-696-7213.